What's up, everybody? It's your boy here to give you guys a review for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. All right, so just going to jump right into it. Uh, Lyrica, okay, well, it picks up where we left off with the whole Mama Beef. It is what the fuck it is. I'm hoping I don't have to ever see A1 yelling at his mother again because that shit is very infuriating. Just saying. Lyrica gets the ring. So, it's surprising that a ring can sit here and take you from one emotion to the next, but hey, it is what it is. She got the ring. Shonda's in the studio giving me very sex kid, you know. I'm not I'm not saying she doesn't have vocals, but she's almost giving me like a like a Janet Jackson almost, but it's like a step above a whip, a whisper, you know. Which is it's out cute. It's out cute, but she talking to Tierra Marie talking about how I'ma sing my life. Well, you need to sing your life. Like you need to sit here and give us all type of vocals, struggles. Like I need to hear runs, vibrato. I need to hear it all. I need to hear it all, but she mentions how Kaisha been all up in her DM song about so I'ma get with you this that and the third and that's here talking about some I hope I'm there with you just like I'ma leave that alone I'ma leave that alone that's all I got for right now <clears throat> alright so I wasn't gonna talk about plastic but apparently I guess I have to so she's juggling the two alright uh, she meets up with uh, Sylvester and Tweety Mysteries and um, I ain't got a name for you know Tierra, Tierra Marie you know so she'll go nameless she'll go by her regular name right now but they're at dance class this that third and she reveals who she's with and <clears throat> their concern is Safari is messy because they wouldn't know as much about what's going on between him and Nikki if it was for him putting the shit on social media. First and foremost, well, I'm not even going to talk about that. That's another discussion for another fucking day, another topic to discuss. But, Sylvester and Tweety Mysteries is the last fucking person that needs to be sitting here talking about somebody putting their shit out on social media and somebody being messy and thirsty and all this other shit. Like, they cucaracha ain't sat here and dragged her ass up and down Instagram. And t Again, you can see everybody else's situation just as good. Okay. Ain't, ain't none of my business though. Anyway, there's that. Now you got um. Let me see. <clears throat> A1 Lyrica, um, Ray J, and Presses at a skating ring. Which that shit looks so fun. I'm actually thinking about probably doing that shit for my birthday. I don't know. You know, but so fun. And it made me think about being in Chicago and hit, hitting up the skating rings and shit like that. Uh, and here's the thing, I can't skate worth the damn like I'll be busting my ass but still just something to do I'm just saying but anyway it was nice long story short they're thinking about eloping which we saw them doing that whole kill be a shotgun wedding type shit at the end like the previews for this episode so that's pretty much it not talking about shit else Chandra has this open mic I forgot to mention it earlier but she had for shout that she had posted the information online but with that being said and this is an open mic the first one when she got up there and did her song I'm not going to say that she wasn't singing because I could hear her voice, but the backing track was too fucking high. So that's one of those where, because it didn't seem like there was too much overland between, you know, the song and her, she could have just sung it a cappella or just sung it with music and minimal shit in the background, but whatever. And then Kaisha just happens to pop up and she goes by Kai Rack. She raps the song. Uh, and she has somewhat of a diss track. It's like, if she won't hear me, maybe she'll hear it through the music now. You have Shonda. I mean, I got it. It's her shit, but she's losing all of her bearing, all this other shit, yelling and whatnot, telling her, come at me. So it ends at this point with her charging her. So we will definitely see what comes. I don't know. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so I need to definitely give this episode on... <laughs> on digits only because of the fucking wig snatching okay like oh she almost snatched her ass but all right so i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> she was having okay okay i'm getting my life i'm, I'm actually starting to get my i think i'm fin i think i'm getting my life and it's probably finna do and do away towards the end but picks up where it just left off so now you got uh shonda and you know well you have kaisha kairat is charging Shonda and literally it's no regards for that damn performance like when we say that was a mic drop mic drop I'm charging that hoe 
does that and literally is going in. Like it was one, and it was one of those where you can tell who was truly about it. Cause if you let, if you see how they charge, you see Shonda kind of did one of these almost like one of those. Nah, Shonda, Shonda wasn't Shonda. Boo boo, you wasn't ready, baby. You you wasn't ready. You was not ready. And my whole thing is this: if you talking that shit, what she should have done is, you know. If 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 if, if this the wig now, nah, if, if 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 this right here the wig, and I'm talking shit, and I'm like, I come hither, I'ma take it off. Then we gonna fight. You don't let somebody snatch it off you. Lord, Lord, Lord. But that was a wig snatching, so I'ma have to just get that clip when I'm talking about the snatching of a wig. Like she had, like that wig, <laughs> that wig went from being right here, right the. Oh shit! Oh shit! Ooh. Okay, I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay. That shit. I'm gonna play that shit back with this bitch go. Oh! Now you got Safari. Uh, well, you have uh, A1 is talking with Fizz. He invites Safari. Safari is about to piss me off with all these damn furrers. Okay. And I need for A1 to figure out, like, that shit right there, like, I swear, if I, every time I look at it, I think this motherfucker got a motherfucking, you know, pimple, like, he need to pop that shit, like, at least he got one pearl on this time, at least he got one pearl, I ain't never talked about the man pearl, uh, his motherfucking finger nigga, my whole thing is this, damn individuality I'm fucking here for, I'm, I, I just, don't, I don't know what the fuck that is, I, anyway, <laughs> Safari come up because he's his whole thing is I know nigga used to, plastic used to fuck with Fizz so you know we I need to just talk some shit out. Long story short, Fizz is looking like she doing the same thing to him that she did to me and he's trying to talk to him on that tip just like guard yourself, man. And I mean it's one of those where you know again when it comes to shit like this and, and altercations of what not men do shit a hell of a lot differently to females. But that was pretty much it. That's all. Before I get into this, I do want to say I see that uh, Miss Leslie is in another fucking movie. It's a comedy. Should have expected that. No shade. But what I will say is, keep all these motherfuckers hating and press. Continue to make your paper, boo-boo. Stay in movies. Stay pissing people off. Stay doing it. I'm here, I'm here for it. I'm, I'm here for it. The movie is Masterminds. I might see it, shit. I ain't really doing shit right now. I don't know. Into it. Back to the shit. So we got Lyrica G. That's the mama. So that's Lyrica Senior. She up on stage. That girl sang it. Now here's the thing. This is when you. This is when you can tell. Cause it's like you can tell she was up there fucking doing her damn thing. I mean, y'all get what I'm saying. She was up there doing it though. Like I, I really would have liked to have actually seen the full performance and actually been able to tap into it. But it's okay. And um, what she said. Dun, 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 dun. Now she says that um, she like Lyrica A is talking about the relationship and just how you know we can't have a wedding. You know if y'all finna sit here and be at each other's throat this and third. She's like we're a family, and Lyrica G is like no we are a family. And she goes to tell us and then it's kind of somewhat talked about. But Lyrica A is a twin. She had a twin sister. Twin sister died one day before they turned three. Father has been in and out, and when uh, the well, when uh, her sister was being buried, uh, Lyrica G told Daddy, okay, if you are not here for this funeral, consider yourself dead. And she's had to play Mommy and Daddy for the whole duration. Is that all that I want to say before I move on to the next thing? Alright, what I'm going to say about that is that's one of those things where if that's how, and, and this is to anybody who's having issues with their baby mom, baby daddy, if they're dead to you, let them be dead to you. But it's not your place unless that person is abusive. Hear me when I say, unless unless they're abusive, they're going to do harm to your child. It is not your decision to sit here and say you will not. Okay, let me not say it's not your decision. I strongly advise you don't do that. <clears throat> because now what you did is, okay, he hasn't been in her life since three because you pretty much just said stay the fuck away. You feel what I'm saying? So you don't know how things could have turned out. You don't know how that could have enriched her life. And now that we know this, I want to know the backstory. I, I'm very, very curious. But that that's some iffy shit. That's some rough shit to play with. But I don't know. <clears throat> and Shonda is writing a four-paragraph letter to Willie pretty much saying, Bro, I'm going to take a step back. I'm trying to see what is in commercials. Don't judge me. Oh, okay, it's uh, that whole... Uh, 
that shit shit. Like the Hotel of Horrors or some shit. I, I don't, y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Sup, Amity, whatever the fuck that shit is. Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. If y'all watch, y'all know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got distracted. Sean is writing him a four, par four paragraph letter pretty much saying that I'm taking a step back from our marriage. I'm not saying that she's cheating, but I'm going to take a step back. I need some breathing room. And when you ready to be 100 women, 1,000, then let a motherfucker know. Pretty much it. So you got Safari popping up at a plastics photo shoot to talk about, you know, his feelings and whatnot. And I will say that I feel some kind of way about that. Because it's like, if she's doing business, he could have showed up and like, finish, and I'm going to talk to you when you're done. Because here's the thing, unless the uh, people doing the photographs and everything, like, unless that's hers and it's organic to her, more than likely, unless they paid her a flat fee, you know, to shoot for so long, they're probably working by the hour. So it's just like, bro, you cutting into, you know, them coins right there. So you fucking up. You, you for real, for real fucking up now. Like, and it's one of those people I don't like people do shit. Like, when somebody in the business mode, people cut, turn up at parties and all the other shit, it's like, that lacks so much fucking decorum. I mean, granted, I mean, I like a turn up too, but sometimes, I mean, when you gotta sit here and address a motherfucker, you do it, but still, you don't wanna fuck with the paper. You don't wanna fuck with the paper. But, I, 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 I hope uh, <clears throat> Nicki Minaj is not watching, because she was like, you know, um, how you gonna let what the last bitch did to you or the woman before like did, did y'all catch that am i just reading in the shit so pretty much Nicki minaj is a bitch and all the other women are just women before Woo. that would be a dope ass motherfucking diss track i tell you and then she trying to sit here and run game on him and i mean he's catching it because one of those women, and she don't know how to she don't know how to be a player she don't she don't I, here's the I may not look the part, but let's just say I've been around enough people and I know the ins and outs and I know here like I know how to cheat with I have never done it. Dog. That's not I'm not that type of dude. But I know how to cheat without getting caught. It's just little shit. She she fucking up. I just wanna know how the fuck they gonna find out about each other. I think he gonna pop up at her house while Rosa is there. That's I think that's what's gonna happen. Y'all let me know. But um uh, outside of that, Lyrica and they one, they're about to get hitched. I don't think they're finna get hitched this episode. But, uh, you know, he's like, we're here. She's her whole thing is I want the moms there, this, that, and third. I got it. I'm trying to figure out why the fuck y'all left the trunk open. Okay, all right. Why the fuck he was wearing that fucking hot-ass jacket? See, these are questions I got. I, I, do y'all have the same questions? I, I wonder. But we got a few more minutes. We're going to see how this ends. Okay, so I was wrong. I'm going to eat crow. They got married. I didn't know he was a Floyd. <laughs> I see why he go by A1. Uh, no, I really don't, because I don't even know if there's any symbolism behind that. And did she say Bentley, or was it supposed to be Bent Lee, but she don't know how to fucking enunciate? You know, that, that uh, that's a sign of a bad singer when you can't enunciate, but whatever. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Uh, by the looks of the previews, we're probably not going to get the moms next week. Hallelujah. But it also looks like I'm not getting my boo eye. That's why I'm not wearing my Team Moni shirt. When my boo is on there, I'm going to wear the shirt. And the only reason why I didn't wear it is by the previews, it looked like I wasn't going to see it. Now, as she popped up, I would have had to jump into the damn shirt. I mean, I got to represent. So that's all that I have. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this review. Hopefully, uh, you guys got a little bit of a laugh out of it. And please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, um, on the next video. What it is, I do not know. If you guys have not checked out my trending topics that I did Sunday, please check that out. And I will see you guys next week on the next video. <laughs>